Well, I would say they were both. They were ready to give their lives for freedom of their people. But uh, for me, it is a similar, uh, similar characterization uh, because heroes are also characterized by readiness to give uh, their lives for, uh, for a higher goal. Uh, and so they are, they were really revolutionary organization. Um, it was more a movement than one organization. Uh, there was a movement among young uh, students uh, in Bosnia because at that time, uh, majority of population were analphabets in Bosnia. 87% were analphabets. And these young uh, people who started to be educated, they really uh, felt that it is their duty to work on uh, appraisal of uh, uh, first of all literacy and uh, self-consciousness of people uh, because in uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire um, the political position was rather hard for especially for peasants uh, uh, for example uh, such constitution has been adopted that one uh, um, Agas vote, Agas were uh, nobility, Tur oh. all Turkish nobility, or one professor's vote was equal to 150 peasants' votes. So somehow uh, these young Bosnians who uh, by majority originated from, uh, from villages who were of peasant origin, they tried to stimulate uh, the, the uprisal of a cultural and national uprisal of um, of whole nation. Uh, among young Bosnians there were uh, not only Serbs but there were also Muslims and Croats. So uh, if I can say uh, young Bosnians were working for, if I can characterize it in two words, uh, the, the goals were uh, liberation from Austro-Hungarian occupation and unification. Uh, these were uh, two main goals of young Bosnians. And there were many uh, organizations which are all uh, coupled by the name Young Bosnia. Uh, not really Great Serbia, I would not call it that, that way. Unification was uh, uh, forming a, a common state of uh, pan-South uh, Slav states. And uh, it was, uh, there were different opinions, should it be Great Serbia or should it be Yugoslavia. Among young Bosnians, most of them believed in Yugoslavia, Princip himself uh, thought. And after all, Serbia also declared its war goals in 1915 uh, as uh, forming a common state, not Great Serbia, but forming a common state of South Slavs. And the name of this state was uh, kingdom of uh, Serbs, Croats and Slovenians. So the, uh, that was not the goal. Great Serbia is more today's propaganda promoted by, <laughs> promoted by NATO countries. Serbia is very proud of its role in, in First World War. Uh, it had in 1914 uh, when it was attacked and, uh, by Austro-Hungarian Empire and that was really the beginning of the war. Uh, it won two great victories. One victory was on River Drina uh, when uh, Serbian soldiers uh, succeeded to throw out Austrian troops. And uh, after the second attack, uh, it was in August 1914. In uh, uh, November 1914, there was a second Austro-Hungarian attempt to conquer Serbia. And they lost uh, a battle on Kolubara when Serbian army alone succeeded again to uh, throw them out of the country. So it was only in 1915 when joint uh, German and Austro-Hungarian troops attacked Serbia for the third time that Serbia had to not to sign a capitulation, but they withdrew with the army across Albanian mountains to Greece uh, with the help, of course, of uh, France um, and um, with French ships mainly and with Italian ships, as far as I remember. And then uh, there was Saloniki Front where uh, when they fought and finally came back as victory. And now we are all proud of these big battles and s success that Serbia had because it was really, um, it was on, Serbia was uh, on the right side and uh, gave big sacrifice. Uh, it lost. It has lost uh, 
uh, almost a fourth of its uh, total population. Uh, so it is, um, and uh, uh, when you look at, at uh, men in the age of uh, for war, for uh, mobilization and war, it has lost uh, about half of its soldiers. So it was a great loss, but uh, at the same time, great victory. It has succeeded in its uh, in its aim.